This is a good morning, and for good reason. What we've got going here, first look here, we have 2.188 volts. And we're doing, what we're doing is actually, we're charging this battery. It's a, uh, from a, a solar yard light. Uh, yesterday, I ran the light here off of this battery connected to my system for seven and a half hours. Now that's no biggie because the light or the uh, battery is expected to last maybe that long, especially when it's new. What's unusual is I did manage to run the power all the way out of the battery and then last night I connected the battery as a charging system which shows there is a charge happening. There we go. And to prove it, we hook up here. And we have light. Now that's a little bit more than just a surface charge. That's an actual charge on the battery from the ground and uh, brought forth from static. How does that work? I'll explain. Okay. In the bottom of each bucket, or of each cell, there are two pieces of copper. On one side is a piece of steel connected. That connection there produces 0 0.0001 volts. That's enough voltage to create a static charge in each cell of approximately 0.5 to 0.7 volts. You hook them all up in series and you start getting real electricity. The battery will only recognize 1.5 volts even though the actual voltage is 0 0.0001 in each bucket it's like a radio wave, AM. The static charge, the static 1.5 volt, is allowing the lesser voltage from this connection here and from the rods, from the earth, the field rods, which are giving me positive and negative polarity at approximately 0.2 to 0.185-ish, depending upon the weather. The weather is everything. Since these are above ground, they tend to discharge on a sunny day and charge up on a rainy day. So Tesla was right. You can start with a smaller amount of voltage, creating a much larger high voltage and put it to work. And I did. I put it to work on that battery that was bone dead after seven and a half hours of running and I have a charging system you can do almost anywhere. And if you look at the light, can we see the little light burning? Yes, you can. You'll notice that should go for a while. And this is just using last night's moist air to help charge the system along with the rods. My next video, I'll show you how to make your own power station. Pretty cool, huh?